Hey y'all, welcome to Creepy Cool's booktube channel where we discuss books. I'm here with my assistant, Skeleton Steve, and if anybody knows what his necklace is called, where that's from, leave me a comment below. He, Steve loves this necklace and wanted to borrow it, so I let him, but I wanted to know if anybody else can identify where that's from. So in today's video, I'm going to be calling it the Book Haul Goals and Dilemmas video. Not only do I have some great books to show you guys, but I also want to mention why I purchased some of these based on my 2019 reading goals. And I also have a dilemma, so I need help from the booktube community. I need some advice. I had one goal last year, and I feel like I failed to meet it. I read the goal, I read the books, but I just feel like I failed to meet it, so I need some advice. And to make it more hardcore, I have signed... A contract and I'm calling it the 2019 reading will happen must do or all ice cream will melt Oompa Loopas will quit the factory Michael Myers will get a job at Jurassic Park and the world will implode goal list no pressure it's witnessed by skeleton Steve and signed by me that's when you know things got real when I signed a contract and yes those are my fox socks and I have my reading goals on the back of these wonderful Goonies cards, which are by Steve. But I want to haul all these books um, because I need to get them in my personal library. I have a very strict system. I call it the WTH Dip TB, which is where the hell do I put these books system. Yeah. So I'm just going to put all these books into one video. And, and your eyes are not deceiving you. This is a cup of tea but it is a very big cup of tea my dentist wants me to only drink tea with meals she actually wants me to stop drinking tea but that's kind of like asking freddy krueger to leave you alone while you're sleeping like you can ask but it's probably not gonna happen he's just gonna look at you and laugh and then probably eventually kill you so I'm going to start off first with the books that are not goal oriented um first off I have James Herbert Haunted and his book, The Ghosts of Sleeth, which is this, this is the one I saw first and it was a cover buy. I had to get it, The Creepy Tree, The Bird, but it does sound like it's right up my alley. This is the first one I believe and it's about a paranormal investigator who spends three nights in a haunted house. And it says it's disturbing atmosphere and constant unpleasant shocks, which when it comes to horror, I'm all about atmosphere that can make or break a horror novel. Um, and I love the, look at that, isn't that beautiful? So again, I got those off Book Outlet for a really good deal. And then the next one I got off Thrift Books. When I was looking up Stephen King and this popped up, which I've never heard of this, but I love that cover again. That's great real estate when you could get a house on top of a skull. Why not? But it turns out this is an anthology. So he did write one and you have some Bram Stoker in here, Lovecraft. Um, and I believe there's a story about Lizzie Borden, which I love stories about her. And Stephen King, I think, wrote one about the boogeyman in here. So that sounds like a pretty good anthology, and I got it for really cheap. This next one is The Necromancer's House by Christopher Bowman. And I'm not going to lie, this was a cover buy. And I thought horror, which that's what it says right there. But it also says fantasy. So horror fantasy. But I can see why. It's about a recovering alcoholic named Andrew um, he stole something from the Soviet Union 30 years ago. Yeah. Um, but he is a warlock and I guess he has like some kind of booby traps and stuff um, protecting the magic stolen from the Soviet Union. And now a monster straight from Russian folklore is coming for him and Frost and Death are coming with her. So it sounds like this might be a situation too where our main character is not only a good guy, but he's probably a kind of a bad guy too. So that sounds very cool actually so i'm pretty excited about that one Where's my quill? um this next one you horror fans have probably heard of ruby jean jensen if not i highly suggest you pick her up she's a great writer um i found night thunder in great condition it's got the tree this one is about a religious cult who is massively killed and buried underneath this tree and then years later of course a bulldozer they do some construction or landscaping or something and the tree goes so I'm guessing the dead are free to rise, of course, and guess who's coming to dinner? Yeah, but she's a great writer and she is very hard to find. So if you could find any of her books, I suggest you grab them. And then the next one we have is Seven Paths to Death by Dorothy and Thomas Hubler. This is a series. I've never heard of it, but it was only $1.99 at Ollie's. I'm not sure. I don't think this is the first one, but I'm not sure that matters. This sounds like 
Hardy Boys Meet Samurais. Um, the, there's a body found floating in the river with a tattoo on his back. And it turns out the tattoo is actually a map. And there's seven of them. So our main characters have to find all seven of the map pieces to find, you know, to put the map together and to find the secret hidden within and stuff. So it sounds like, you know, a treasure hunt kind of thing meets Samurai meets Hardy Boys. And it's not that big of a book. So, and it was cheap. Why not? Next, I have Ronald Malfi Bone White. Again, with a creepy tree, I know. I love my creepy trees. This is actually my third book by him, and I need to read them. <laughs> um, I have December Park and Snow, but I think I'm going to start with this one. This one is the one, I believe it's about a twin brother. Um, his brother went missing years ago, and now the killer is apparently leading the police to um, the bodies that he has killed. So he comes back to town to get some closure on his brother, but things are, it doesn't sound like things are what they seem. And then, um, let me remember the rest. Uh, oh yeah. He finds superstitious locals who talk of the devil stealing souls and a line of wooden crosses to keep what's in the woods from coming out. So this sounds very, very good. I'm probably going to start with this one. I was going to start with snow, but I might start with this one. And then the next two I have... I think these are either middle grade or YA. I found these at Ollie's too. I actually saw this one first, but this is not the first one. I don't know if that matters, but I think I will start with this one just because. But this is an interactive book. So you read the book, watch the videos, and break the codes. And this one, I believe they are hunting a criminal. And I'm not going to really read the synopsis for this one just in case it does matter if you read them in order. But... It looks really, really cool. Got Sherlock, season one manga, manga, however you want to say it. And inside came these, these little cards. And I have read A Study in Pink, and basically reading these is like watching the show. I'll show you the artwork. Yeah, I was pretty excited to find that on Amazon. And then another, I got No Fear Shakespeare Hamlet. There's our, I'm not in love with this artwork, but it's not bad. But um, I got it for a good price. I just can't, I think I got it from Molly's, but I'm not 100% sure, honestly. And then the next three I got from Ollie's. Now the price of... All three of these is like the price of one. All you Stephen King can't, Stephen King fans will love this. I got that one. They had this one. Now I like Stephen King, but I've mostly only read his classic horrors. I don't know if I'll ever read the Dark Tower series, but even if I don't, I may actually read these because this artwork is just. Let me see. I don't want to spoil anything, so. Let me find that picture. Here's the artwork. Isn't that beautiful? They did a great job. 